He is one of the deadliest strikers on his day, and he has everything it takes to rewrite the rules of the game. But Romelu Lukaku's controversial lifestyle has shocked more players than his goal-scoring ability. From being Belgium's top goal scorer to his relationship with Megan Thee Stallion, expensive properties, net worth, and life away from football, here's the real gist. Born on May 13, 1999, in Antwerp, Belgium to Congolese parents, Romelu Lukaku's destiny was intertwined with football right off the bat. His father, Roger Lukaku, was a professional footballer, and his mother, Adolphine, kept things together at home. Lukaku's father had played for small teams like FC Boom and other lower division clubs in Belgium like KV Oostend and KV Mechelen. So Lukaku always got a special seat to see all the action. Although Lukaku Sr. was pretty good at his job, he wasn't the only reason Lukaku wanted to become a professional footballer because he grew up idolizing the left-footed, powerful Brazilian striker Adriano. Lukaku also had siblings who shared a similar dream with him. His brother Jordan, who's only a year younger, would play with him at the back of the family's house. Today, Jordan is a professional footballer and plays for Royal Antwerp FC. I should mention that the circumstances surrounding Lukaku's childhood weren't very favorable. One would think that all footballers have a decent amount of money in their bank accounts, but that's not true. Lukaku's father wasn't earning enough to take care of his family since he was playing in the lowest tier of Belgian football. His father eventually had to retire in 1999, and even before then, he had made some bad investments, leaving the family in a mess. At that point, Lukaku was only six years old, but he was mature enough to know that things weren't going so well. He then joined his local club, Rupel Boom. No one knew it at the time, but this was the beginning of an incredible career. After he spent a couple of years with his local club, Lukaku got an entry into the Lears SK's Youth Academy at the age of 13. With his fine performances, Lukaku made it clear that he was a top prospect in Belgian football as he scored 121 goals in just 68 games. At 16, he made his professional debut with Anderlecht in 2009. Anderlecht won the Belgian Pro League the following season, with Lukaku being the league's top goal scorer. An important turning point came in August 2011, when Chelsea signed Lukaku for £20 million. But with limited first-team opportunities, Lukaku moved to West Bromwich Albion on loan after just one season with Chelsea. At West Brom, Lukaku reminded everyone of his goal-scoring ability with 17 goals and 38 appearances, outscoring all of his Chelsea teammates. A return to Chelsea was short-lived after Lukaku came on as a substitute but missed the deciding penalty in Chelsea's 2013 UEFA Super Cup clash with Bayern Munich. He was then shipped out to Everton, and it was there that he would reach his full potential and establish himself as one of the greatest strikers in the Premier League. In his four seasons with Everton, Lukaku scored 87 goals in 166 appearances before sealing a £90 million move to Manchester United. Although Lukaku scored a total of 42 goals in 96 games, his stint at Old Trafford was hampered by inconsistent play and fitness concerns. So, after just two seasons, he moved to Inter Milan for 80 million euros and rediscovered his form, playing a key role in the team's 2020-21 Serie A title win. Lukaku was unexpectedly bought by Chelsea again in 2021 for 97.5 million pounds, but his time with the club was disastrous, so he returned to Inter on loan the following season. In August 2023, Roma acquired his services and his appearances so far have been nothing short of impressive. On the international stage, Lukaku made his debut for Belgium in 2010. He has been a key player for Belgium in big tournaments, such as the FIFA World Cups in 2014 and 2018, and the UEFA European Championships in 2016 and 2020. With his four goals at the 2018 World Cup, Lukaku helped Belgium advance to the semi-finals. So far, he has made 105 appearances for Belgium and scored a staggering 71 goals. Away from the spotlight, Lukaku keeps his personal life private, but we do know that back in 2014, he was romantically linked with Belgian fitness guru, Julia van de Vec. He then dated a gorgeous Belgian model, Sarah Mans, for five years before breaking up earlier this year. Lukaku allegedly has a son with Sarah, but the biggest shocker came earlier this year when the Belgian forward was spotted with WAP hitmaker Megan the Stallion. And the word on the street is that the pair have been dating even before the public knew about it. But how about we get to know Lukaku in person? During his free time, Lukaku enjoys playing video games. He also engages in other sports outside of football, one of which is basketball. Standing at 6'3", and with a huge frame, he might have made the NBA draft. Just kidding. Lukaku also loves African dishes. He took his culinary adventures a step further after hiring a personal French chef to make his favorite meals. He grew up in a Christian home and is a devout Christian. 
One interesting thing about the striker is that he is teetotal. We don't get to see that a lot these days. Lukaku's impressive career earnings have allowed him to spend money on the finer things of life. Given the fact that he has played in many countries, he owns properties worldwide. Let's check them out. During his spell at Manchester United, he bought a house that features a jacuzzi, a cinema, a game room, a pool, and a recording studio for making beats. The Belgian has also purchased properties in Italy during his time as a player in Inter Milan. He has an apartment with a gigantic bed near San Siro, but he doesn't really live there anymore. However, we expect him to visit the place occasionally since his mother and brother live there. Just like many of his peers, Lukaku is a petrol head. His fleet of cars includes a shiny Rolls Royce Wraith that costs $580,000 and a 300 grand Bentley Continental GT and a $320,000 Mercedes AMG GT. These are just some of his big guns. Some of the others are a Mercedes AMG GLE 63 Luxury SUV and a Maserati Le Monte Trofeo, which he received from one of his endorsements. He was an ambassador for an Italian car company. That's impressive, even for a footballer of his caliber. But just how much does Lukaku have in the bank? With a net worth estimated to be at least $39 million, Lukaku is one of the richest footballers and athletes. Lukaku's income streams include his annual salary, sponsorships, and smart investments. It's important to know that Lukaku set up camp with some of the biggest clubs out there, including Manchester United. So we shouldn't expect any less. Lukaku earns £325,000 a week at Chelsea, which brings his annual wages to around £17 million. But he had to take a huge pay cut after his move to Roma, with the Italian side only willing to pay £7 million for a temporary move. In 2018, Lukaku bagged a record sponsorship deal with Puma. It was the company's largest endorsement deal ever. That being said, Lukaku remains committed to giving back. He has been actively involved in various charitable initiatives, one of which was the establishment of a foundation for rising stars in Congo. Many young footballers in his native land are often ignored despite their talent. So Lukaku reached out and gave them a helping hand. He also donated a ton of money towards the construction of the educational and health institutions in the country. In his early years, Lukaku had to watch his mother suffer from diabetes. This influenced his decision to donate money towards a noble cause in 2019. To mark his 50th strike for his country, Belgium, he spent a sum of $133,000 and assisted various charities in addressing cancer and diabetes. Lukaku, like many sports stars, has faced controversies. He had to deal with racism from fans of opposing teams. During his first stint at Inter Milan in 2019, he was racially abused. And earlier this year, he suffered something similar from Juventus fans in Turin when he was about to take a penalty. However, Lukaku didn't allow any of the taunts to get to him. He confronted them and made light of the challenges that many black players face, but he's also an advocate for social justice and equality. 